Uh, but let's do, let's do. Wait, what did they say? I liked how when I stopped and I got up like they were distinct. Yeah, sure. If you got something like that, you can do it, absolutely. Yeah, there's a piano back there. Or, uh, okay. Alright. Hey guys, I'm Daisy. You guys are going to do basically everything. It's all on you guys. So we're talking from costumes to lines to staging to lighting. It's all you. Obviously, the bottom line in that class is we're putting on a full-scale production of Shakespeare, Shakespeare's play, but they're responsible. And I try to make that clear the first day. Look, this is a full-scale production, and you're doing everything. So, above all, it's supposed to be a class that incorporates play in its broadest sense. So, it's about a play, a, a kind of text that we know about, and a production and all that, but it's also about having fun with it. So. Playing Shakespeare is uh, getting to know a particular play really well, uh, getting to know it not just as a text but as a kind of living piece of theater, something that you're going to bring alive on the stage, and, uh, and then working with it to do that, to, to achieve that. So that in playing Shakespeare we spend the first three weeks of the course studying the text, we spend the next week, students audition for roles, they can audition for as many roles as they want, any role that they want. I cast the play after that. Weeks five through ten, they rehearse the play. And between the end of courses and the beginning of finals, we have two nights in Wyatt Theatre where we put on a full-scale production of a Shakespearean play. My name is Rachel Joseph. My major is Biological Sciences. I'm the second year, going to be a junior next year. Hope to become a pediatrician and work for Doctors Without Borders. That's what I'm going for. So we have them do various exercises that help them to get sort of a better grasp of their acting talent and their relationships in the class. We pass out pieces of paper to the kids. And we have a slew of Shakespearean insults that in just reading them, you might not understand what the hell they mean. They seem sort of nonsensical. The words are archaic. So what we make the kids do is pick various insults, and then they come out and they just say, you foul, vile trot, and everyone just kind of goes, oh, not you. It's about using your body and your voice, and they tend to do that quite well. Blood-sucking boggler. Castalian. King urinal. You swaggering wayface. Whorish. Rackful. White. Gurby. Jack dog priest. Ooh. Oh! What fucking boggler? That Grizzly, and your lips turn foul. You. The other thing I need to tell you about this as this comes around, it's got a question on here. What particular skills or talents do you have that might be used in this production? Use your imaginations here, please. I 
Most people today, when they look at, when they watch a Shakespearean performance, they find it rather boring. And I think one of the unique things that we did in Eric Schrader's class is we made it accessible to the audience. The best way to make it accessible to the audience is make it so the players find it accessible. So what we do in that class is we take three weeks and we break it down line by line, scene by scene, and we investigate, what does this line mean? What does this phrase mean? In Shakespeare, there, there are lots of worlds, eh? and there's lots of things about the language. So, like, as an example, there are um, oral, oral worlds in Shakespeare. Yeah, by that I mean A-U-R-A-L slash O-R-A-L. Yeah, um, worlds for the eyes and worlds for the ears. Juliet assumes that it's Romeo who's dead. And she goes, um, uh, I am not I, if this be I, uh, blah, 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 blah. Within, nine, uh, within eight or seven or eight lines, she's got something, I can't remember, nine or 11 eyes. When you read it, it's A-Y-E, yeah, I, laddie, you know, yes, yeah. Or it's I, me, or it's I, the organ. But when you listen to it on stage for the people who don't have the benefit of the text in front of them, what you hear, or one of the things you hear is, I, 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 I. And she's keening and she's grieving. Yeah? So, so what you read and what you see is a totally different world. Shakespeare plays around on that level. So when you do The Taming of the Shrew, which was written around the same time, maybe a tad earlier, you know, be aware of that, you know. The other thing that he loves to do is um, um, have, you know, play around with words. As an example, Romeo um, goes, you know, the, um, the father, Montague father looks for him and Montague mother looks for him just after the opening scene and she, he says Benvolio, Benvolio have you seen him, have you seen him? And you know Benvolio says oh yeah 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 I, I saw him under the sycamore tree. The question is why does Shakespeare use sycamore? You know why not an elm, why not an oak, why sycamore? You know because he, he's doing a bilingual pun, sic amore. Yeah, he's under the lovesick trees, yeah? And Shakespeare's language works on that level. You know, I know of no other writer that just repays and repays and repays and repays if you read what he gives you and he teaches you. You know, I, know, I knew Peter originally just through his work. Peter came to Davis I don't know the exact date, maybe about six years ago. Uh, he used to come every two or three years as the Granada uh, artist in residence as part of an exchange program that UCD had with uh, Granada Theatre in London. And Granada he, Theatre is also basically British television. Television as well, yeah, TV station. And uh, Peter would uh, direct a play for the drama department. Uh, 
I also know of him through his what he's written about directing and uh, the way that we, that an actor would read Shakespeare, read a Shakespeare uh, speech, and look for the directions within the language of the speech itself as to what he or she was meant to be doing and uh, physically with with the body or uh, in terms of movement on the stage or uh, modulation of the voice. And I got up the nerve to ask him if he'd come to class and he agreed to it. And so uh, last year one of the things we did is have Peter come and do a workshop. You, 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 you choose silence because it helps you where you need to go. Or you choose words because it helps you where you need to go. But both of them are extremely active. So if, if, if I want to kill her and I go, mm -hmm, whatever, yeah, then what's that about? You know, it's about shaking or I got a knife and I go, or whatever I do, yeah? But if, um, I don't know, I'm going to kill you, and I go, Yeah? And if I did this to Rachel, whew, yeah? That would be the release. Yeah? You know, thank you. You, you, you know, that's the worst thing coming. You know what the worst is. There's nowhere for the actor to go. There's nowhere for the audience to go. You know the worst. What did I do? I did nothing. You know, I went and I took my glasses out. Yeah? I looked at Rachel or something, and I pointed it, and then I just walked slowly. But I walked. That's all I did. The rest, how bad it was, what it was, was totally in your mind. Does, does that make sense? So what was more interesting, this or whatever or that? Yeah, there. It was about your imagination and the worlds you play in, yeah, and your mirror. Does that, does that make sense? And I think that if you're an actor and a director, the more you can make, it, make the audience work, you know, however we do that, the better. But I think that he plants seeds in them which go on reverberating for a long time. I think he... Uh, has the ability in one little workshop to make an actor better at the craft of acting. And while they don't always kind of appreciate at the moment, I think, what they're getting from him, uh, I think it's got real long-term effects. My name is Romana, and I was an ISR from 98-99, so I actually did the play in 1999. I certainly, certainly it was one of the best classes that I took at Davis, but I don't know if it really qualifies as a class as such because it's so much more than a class. I mean, you do things in this environment that you'd never be able to do in any other kind of setting. It's not, you know, there's, there's no lecture, it's all totally hands-on. I mean, it's a very different sort of thing. So my senior year and my second senior year, I spent TAing the play right here. And that was, a, that was an amazing experience. Having the opportunity, which is also like being in the class, um, teaching the class is a very once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's not having that degree of impact isn't something that you can usually do as a teaching assistant or as an undergrad working in college. It's it's, it's a remarkable opportunity. Uh, I'm Andrew. I'm a chem major, and Ooh. yeah, uh, <laughs> I've never done any kind of theater before, but it's you know, something I'd like to try. So that's what I did. Having a chance to really get in and teach drama and be part of creating something like this and be part of bringing the kids from where they are at the beginning of the quarter to where they are at the end of the quarter, which is, oh my God, such a vast difference. And Andrew. Hello. What were you going to do at the beginning of this thing? What was your role? That you were uh, thinking about? Something minor. I don't know. Not Petruchio. That's for sure. 
there are so many students in this class that have no experience with drama and are totally afraid of getting on that stage. And I've seen them in my class and in the classes I taught where they start out and they're afraid to tell you their name. And by the end of it, you have them singing and dancing on stage and they're the high achieving students. They are, you know, the best of the best. And this class gives them a confidence that they can't get from writing a research paper or doing a in-class presentation. That's, that's expected. They know that they're going to have to do that. But getting them to share the fact that they can do a triple cartwheel in front of their friends and family or look silly and have it be perfectly okay, it's an experience that isn't offered anywhere else in Davis. Okay, my name is Andrew Peterson. My major right now is chemistry, but that's going to change because I don't really care much for chemistry anymore. And um, my role is Petruchio. Besides chemistry, well, I was thinking something in bio. My background in drama is uh, pretty much nothing. This is my first experience with drama. I believe I have 596 lines in this play. Say that she rail? Well, then I'll tell her plain. She sings as sweetly as a nightingale. Say that she frown. I'll say she looks as clear as morning roses. Newly washed with dew. Say she be mute and will not speak a word. Then I'll commend her volubility and say she uttered piercing eloquence. Uh, I don't know. At first it was kind of overwhelming, but um, now, I, I don't know. I'm really excited about it, actually, because I'm having a lot of fun with the character. And the only bummer is just all the memorizing. But, you know, I'm done with that now. So it's been a lot of fun just and working with Aaron a lot, too. Uh, my name is Erin Lowry, and I'm an environmental biology major, and uh, I'm playing Catherine, <laughs> the shrew. <laughs> so, may you lose your arms. If you strike me, you are no gentleman. Um, we had, oh, before the audition, we, uh, Andrew and I worked uh, a lot together on our audition piece. I think I just remember the day that he told me that he was going to audition, because it's a big part that he auditioned for, and the day he told me he was going to do it, I was just so happy, because um, really, uh, it really helps to audition with somebody that you know, because um, I mean, auditioning in itself is kind of a stressful process, so it was really neat to, uh, to be able to work together and talk it out, and so we, we ran it again and again, I mean, it's a scene that has like a slap in it too, so lucky him, he got to, I mean, whack him a couple times. When you come from high school and you're the top of the top, you're not used to ever hearing anybody tell you no. There's nothing too unexpected when you're almost perfect. So a lot of these kids haven't had experience with acting, and they come to college, and they come to the Shakespeare class, and they know exactly what they want. They want the lead role. Here she comes. And now Capriccio speak. Good morrow, Kate. For that's her name, I hear. Well hast thou heard, though something hard of hearing. They call me Catherine, that do talk of me. And sometimes take the curse. Oh! Uh! <laughs> Kate! Where's <laughs> Kate? Curse not. Why, what's immovable? A drawn stool. Thou hast hit it. Come sit on me. Thou hast hit it. Come, sit on me. Oh! Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. <laughs> but here she comes. And now <laughs> you. <clears throat> Good morning, Kate. Okay. For that is your name up here. Well, have you heard? But something hard of hearing. They call me Catherine. That you talk of me. And. Sometimes Kate cursed. But Kate, the prettiest Kate cursed now. Why? What's immovable? A joint stool. <laughs> Thou hast hit it. Come, sit on it. <laughs> Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such <laughs> shade as you if me. Alas, good Kate, I will not burn thee for knowing thee to be but young and light. Oh, too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet. 
as heavy as my weight should be. <laughs> should be? Should buzz. Well taken. And like a buzzard. Oh, slowing it, turtle. Shall a buzzard take thee? <laughs> I, for a turtle, and he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp and fake. You are too angry. <laughs> if I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy, then, is to pluck it out. <laughs> I am the fool who finds it where it lies. Who knows now where wasp does wear a sting? In his tail. In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails. And so, farewell. What? With my tongue? In your tail? <laughs> Nay, come again, good Kate. I'm a gentleman. That I'll try. Swell cuff you, you strike again. Let it go! No. Ah! Ah! Find me, Pat. Ah! Ah! I was told ah! you, you were rough. Ah! I am so. Ah! And now I find a port of very life. Ah! For thou art pleasant, ah! gangster, ah! passing courteous, ah! but slow in speech, ah! yet sweet as springtime flowers. Ah! Thou canst not frown, thou canst not look askance, nor bite the lip as angry wenches will, nor hast thou pleasure to be cross and talk, but thou with mildness entertainest thy wooers, gentle conference, soft and affable. Why does the world report that Kate doth live? Oh, slanderous world! Kate like the hazel twig is straight and slender, and as brown in hue as hazelnuts, and sweeter than the kernel. Stop! change me in any way. You don't own me. Don't tie me down because I'll never stay. I'm going to be doing Bianca scene 3 1. Or a perfect daughter. I am no breaching scholar in the schools. I'll not be tied to hours or appointed times. I will learn my lessons as I please myself. Can it be I'm not meant to play this part? In these past few days when I've seen myself seem like someone else. Why then, the maid is mine from all the world, by your firm promise. Fiddler, forbear! You go too forward, sir. Fiddler, forbear! You go too forward, sir. Thy husband is thy lord, thy life, thy keeper. This isn't getting through to you, is it? <laughs> <laughs> At first I was a bitch. <laughs> I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live with you by my side. <laughs> Have I not, in a pitchy battle, heard? Loud alarms, neighing seeds, and trumpets clang. I found the effect of love in idleness. Besides, possessed with the glamours and like bows of the chime. Da 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 da. Time a line, please. It is in my head to do my master good. No, sir, that I am called dun, dun, dun. Hortensio. <laughs> <You're> Hortensio. <laughs> with a rusty old sword tan from the town armory, with a broken hilt, <laughs> and shapeless with two broken points, his horse hit with an old mothy saddle, with saddles of no kindred. With an old mothy saddle and stirrups of no kindred, besides being possessed with the glanders and like to mows in the shot. Gentlemen, input in the male father. Poor girl, she weeps. Is that a man so 
weary. Is that right, man? So weary. Imprimis. You came down the foul little My master riding behind my mistress. The horse is fed away. <laughs> we'll overreach the narrow graybeard Gremio. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows not where watch this where it's sick? It is tip! It is tip! So how are you doing with the slabs? The slabs, well, they kind of hurt, but they're gone after like five seconds. You get beaten into the ground. So about the slapping. Oh, I wait for it the whole time, you know, just ready. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, because it just goes against everything, you know, it's just like hit somebody, but... Andrew and I were, uh, were working on it. I mean, it was a lot of, ah, I can't do it. And he was like, you know, the worst part is waiting for it to come. So, I mean, just kind of try to put yourself in the moment and think I want to hit her and just do it and try really hard not to be like, I'm sorry, right away. You have a Jess with me all this while. If that be Jess, if that be Jess, and all the rest was so. It hurts! It hurts! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. We want, that. we want all that in the show. That would be It really does hurt, though. I know! I don't want to hit you. It does. It's, it's hello! Yeah, well, it's I'm just an pretend. actress! It's just pretend. But yeah. No, but it's just pretend. It's just all pretend. Yeah. So just slap her. I want to slap her. Just haul off and just slap her. I'm confused. You actually, like, yeah. Yeah. pretend? Yeah. Can we just try the slides on this table? Okay. And all the rest was so. It was good. Yeah, it was a big deal. Untie my hands. If that be jest, then all the rest was so. For shame, thou hilding of a devilish spirit. Why dost thou wrong she that ne'er wronged thee? When did she cross thee with the bitter word? <laughs> Her silence flouts me, and I'll be revenged. What? In my sight? We'll have rings and things and finery, and kiss and cakes. <laughs> My name is Kate Burrell, and my major is linguistics. I am Stephen Vernava. I am an aeronautical engineering major. Um, my name is Heather Asquith. I'm an animal science and management major. My name is Celia Futch, and I'm a biology major. Welcome home, Romeo. Oh no, Romeo! I have, I would think, too many roles. I think I have between three and four. I've played Christopher Sly, the drunk in the first scene, um, one of the singing servants at, right after the intermission, and the pedant who impersonates Vincentio's father, and, or no, Lucent, Lucentio's father. When I first yeah? talked to you, you told me that you were just going to do music. I honestly can't remember that now, but I probably did say something like that. I heard later on that the people in this can do everything, and it includes composing the music. And I've really been interested in it. I'm really interested in that aspect. Cool. Good. My name is Carolyn Sawyer. My major is confused, 
and I am several servants in the play. This is uh, Curtis right here. This nice non-colored garb and my red colors. And um, and I also dance in the play. And I don't like talking to cameras. And my role is the servants, basically. I'm servant number two and second huntsman and another servant. I'm the singing servant, too, in the second act. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. I play the first huntsman in the induction. I'm one of the dancers for Fever. I'm one of the Vanna Whites for the Price is Right scene. I'm one of the singing servants in the second half of the play, and I'm just a servant in general. Instead of treated, we get strict. I play the Lord in the induction. Bid him shed tears as being overjoyed to see his noble Lord restored to health. A servant, a singing servant. Instead of wages, we get wit. And I think that's it. It's a lot of fun. The first few weeks are great. I mean, the first week when we came in here and we started doing exercises in acting, and it was a lot like things from Whose Line Is It Anyway? We'd have different games and things we'd play to act, and it was a lot of fun to just have fun that way. It's a lot of fun, and people are really nice. It's fun to work with all your classmates, especially if you don't know some of the ones that you're working with on the play. Who's this guy? That's Steven, who had to get his costume, which is sitting behind me. Sorry. <laughs> he changes a lot. Yeah, he has a lot of costume changes. Uh, the plays I've done, you usually stick to the text. You don't really take very many liberties unless somebody tells you to do it. But in this class, um, the students are given the freedom to do what they want with their characters and, and to give opinions to the director. And I really haven't had that a lot. That's the only way in which a student can truly feel part of the performance is if they have put something of themselves into it and if they've you know, given their opinions on it. And they really feel like it's part of them and they're going to remember it a lot more. You know, we, we talk a lot at the university about building community. Uh, but we don't always do such a good job at it. This class really does do it. I mean, it has to do it. Because if it doesn't do it, the play's not going to work. And if the play doesn't work, they know they're all going to look bad. So that they really do. It forces them to pull together and to, to do their best and to recognize that everybody's efforts are important. Hello there, youngins. Anybody in there? Any single ladies? My name is Alicia Marie Flor. I uh, am a Spanish major, and I play Gremio, the dirty old man, slash the jazz Latin singer woman. Do a little gender change in the middle, and then I go back to Gremio. So that's me. <laughs> now, Senor Baptista, your younger daughter. Long have we waited. Oh. <laughs> Quick interview. What do you think so far? I think this is going to be a crazy ass show, but I'm excited. Are you having fun? I am having fun. I was a little bit scared to play a little old man at first, but apparently I was, I'm a natural being a dirty old man, so what can you do? How about singing? Sing that's natural, actually. So that's a lot of fun. I'm glad I get to be a woman or myself, at least for a little bit of it. <laughs> I'm very comfortable with that part. <laughs> a lot about uh, the people that I live with actually. Um, by this point in the year I think we were supposed to know so much about each other that it would have helped the production but I think the production has helped my, um, my feelings of 
like sisterhood and brotherhood with everybody who lives in IS program and how we've worked together. This more than any other class in the whole IS program. And I'm really glad. This is, I mean, this wasn't the reason I took IS, but this has become the reason why I appreciate it so much. The outside performance is so much more difficult. Everybody knows it. There's this, there's this air around when we're outside. It's just, it's so difficult because projecting your voice and making people hear you. It's just, ooh, the payback isn't worth it. You know, they end up, they end up fitting the space and why it's so well, why it suits what they're able to do. And the outdoor show, can't speak loud enough. That's the big thing. I, you know, when you can't hear it, what's the point? See, I can't even hear Rachel now. I blame it on I-80. I'm starting to lose it. Yeah? Yeah, because I don't like the outdoor stuff so much. You gotta yell a lot. Yeah. Aaron, how's your voice holding up? What? It's getting a workout, <laughs> but it's good practice. I mean, the uh, indoor show, I mean, we'll have no excuse for, you know, for speaking up in that one after this. It's good practice, I guess. Don't be people. Be loud. Go. Do you intend to stay with me tonight? So please, your lordship. With all my heart. Oh, and this fellow, this fellow I remember. Was the ones you played at Farmer's Eldest Son. Those one you wooed the gentleman so well. A miracle. It's a miracle. I saw that. That's, <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> did you did you get the policeman coming? Do you have a do you have a license to rehearse here on this field? That's what I was expecting. I, I was too, yeah. I mean, he kick he us was, off the field. He was saying that you could uh, what was he saying? He asked me if I had any students who had cars on the meter because he didn't want to ticket them. And I thought that was very sweet because usually they, you know, ticket now and ask later. So have you ever been in cuffs before? Have you ever been in cuffs before? Oh, she's no stranger um, to the cuffs. <laughs> Tell them, Laura. Actually. <laughs> on the weekends, yeah. This is probably harder for me than being slapped. <laughs> no, flipping you off is harder than being slapped. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I've ever done anything vulgar or like sexual on stage, and so this is really a challenge. Yeah, leave that labor to great Hercules. Sir, understand you this with me in suit. Tell me about the hat. The hat? This is my haberdasher hat. Where's it from? It's Laura's. Laura's? Yeah. How do you like it? It's lovely. You think? Yes. I think Kate will love it. I think, think it'll look lovely on Andrew, too. You think you'll wear it in public? What? Will you ever wear it in public? Me? Yeah. I don't know if it's my style. I don't yeah. really know that. What's the story on having the Outdoor Adventure sign on the tent getting it for free? What happened with that? I think it might have been this one the wrong way. Just be really careful with the paper. Jehovah, Jehovah. 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 Jehov
one more time. He's like, what? Who did that? And like all the women, they're like, How are there any women that? here today? No, 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 no. <laughs> Not a denier. Go by Saint Geronimy. Go to thy cold bed and warm thee. And finally. Till we find a husband for the eldest sister. Yo, yo. What'd you think? It went pretty well. <laughs> Couple uh, snafus, but all in all, really well, I thought. I was impressed. Stayed away for the whole show. They upped the level. Uh oh. Yeah. Did they? They kicked it up a notch. Well, at least from the year before us, right? You hear this, John? You hear this, John? They kicked it up a notch. This is last year's show talking. Yeah. Oh. Our play had a lot less Shakespeare sounding stuff, though, right, Manny? <laughs> like... I like the costumes and the music. The music was uh, spectacular. Muy spectacularoso. They were the stars last year. We were the stars. Yeah. We watched yeah. your video and I was like, look, it's them, it's them from the video. And we were like, oh God. Uh, yeah. so, That's what they're saying about you now. So yeah. thank you for yeah, coming. We were very known. We liked it. They said you guys have raised the level. Yeah, we. It was good. It was really good. Uh, the cars passing by was a bit of a hassle, but other than that, it was really good. Really? Yeah. Huh? Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It's only going to get better from here. My name is Rebecca Rosenberg. My major is bio -sci with emphasis in molecular and cellular biology. It's a mouthful. And what I do in the play is I'm a TA of sorts. I basically help the students with all of the non-acting aspects. So that would be the tech and the staging and um, getting the space and advertising and everything like that. If they don't know how to do something, I help them do it. If you have a small role, if you are the dog, then you can be the dog who does costumes when you're not the dog. Or you can be the dog who helps with lighting, or the dog who organizes yeah. dance rehearsals and also dances when you're not the dog. I Don't underestimate the importance of the non-acting. I mean, acting's great and wonderful, but if none of the other stuff happens, there's no point. My name is John Carney. I'm a computer science engineering major, and I'm doing lighting in this play. We'll get it off. Okay, cool. We're going to back up. Yeah. Can I see what it's like to, when you're just right away? 
My name is Stacy Hitchcock. I am undeclared. It's a very good major. I am currently stage manager for Taming the Show, which means I pretty much oversee a lot of the backstage stuff to make sure everything gets done, yelling at people, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, my name is Ivan Lam, and I'm a design major. I'm in charge of publicity and set design. I opened the trap door with a scary mask on. You okay? Oh yeah, that looks good on Ivan. In the production, I am a priest. I yeah, just have a half line. Dearly beloved. And um, I put up the Price is Right sign. My name is Daniel Ma. I'm a chemistry major. And my job in this play is to be the sound technician. Being a sound technician means I run the sound effects. That's my main job. Popped up with winds, raised like an angry boar, chased with sweat. Oh no, I thought he was doing sound effects for this. Are we doing the sound with this? Yeah, let's back up. Okay. Have I not in my time heard lions roar? Have I not heard the sea? Puffed up with winds, rage like an angry boar, ticked with sweat. <laughs> also, uh, we have to uh, mic some of the people on stage because uh, the instruments are overpowering them, and so I'm also in charge of monitoring the sound volume on that. I've never done anything like this before. This is really new to me. Six. Look at what they've done to this. So how are they going back here? Look at this one dog here. Well, first of all, they're all just like this crazy mess. So what's your name? I'm Dan. <laughs> Dan what? Dan Desitel. Okay, what's your name? What's your major? And what are you doing? All right, I'm Dan Desitel. My major is mechanical engineering, and I'm in charge of props. So. What is yeah. he doing, Stephen? I huh? don't know. What? What is he doing? No idea. <laughs> He's trying to get it over his head, but yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, but Sam's head's bigger than mine. What, but my daughter prove a good musician? <laughs> I think she'll sooner prove a soldier. <laughs> okay, what happened? All right, so I was cutting a hole in a rubber ball for uh, to make the head for Grammy's cane, and uh, I was using a Swiss Army knife, and I was pushing in, and it just kind of folded up on my finger. Have you done that job before? No, no, never done. So it you were this is virgin territory. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Trying something new, ne learning a new life skill. Yeah. How will you use that skill in the future? Uh, I won't use Swiss Army knives. <laughs> All right. Use a knife that doesn't fold. All right. There you go. So you, so you have learned something from this course. Yeah. 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 That's what it's all about. Anything else you've learned? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. Spray Not paint in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> That one wasn't so good either. I don't think so. She just really wants to write What have you done? Well, when I super glued the ball onto the head of the cane, uh, some of the super glue ran down the cane. So then I decided it'd be a good idea to wipe it off with the newspaper. Only then some of the newspaper stuck to the cane. So when I pulled the newspaper off, then we had a blotch of newspaper on the cane. So I did the best I could to kind of scrape it off and now I'm just spray painted over it with black. So then I'm going to wait for that to dry. Should be half an hour or so and then uh, Alicia can use it. So are you having fun? It's easier to hold. Oh yeah. It's a lot of fun. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm a little better off now than I was when I first got here. When I first got here I was just angry and bitter and short on sleep and like, everyone took everything! Is that the first class or is that today? No, that was when I showed up here today. 
So how do you like the class so far? Um, it's pretty good. Um, what, do you, what do you do decide, besides being the tech guy? I am an officer, which is a uh, basically it's an excuse to have me on stage and not do much of anything. I have no lines. I just stand there and <coughs> haul Amanda around and let her kick her legs and stuff. Don't volunteer to be the prop guy. It's way too much work. <laughs> My name is David Jones. Um, I'm a psych major, considering sociology double major with a music minor. <laughs> and um, my main role is Lucentio. Um, he's one of the uh, he's one of the suitors to the two daughters of Baptista. I'm the one who ends up marrying Bianca, um, the not so shrewish one. So, are you having fun? Yeah, yeah, I'm having a great time out. It's um. It's a uh, it's really interesting process the way we... I've never been in a theater situation like this before where you're coming in for just four hours twice a week and then you need to just prepare for that. I've only done situations where it's been like every day for a shorter period of time. Hick, Ibot, <laughs> as I told you before. Simois, I am Lucentio. For one thing, I, I haven't had a, had a role of this size before and also I... Um, don't know if there's going to be another chance for me to be in a Shakespeare production like this. So it's 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 a really lucky thing for me. Hick est, son of Vincentio of Pisa, Segia tell us, disguised thus, to get you in love. <laughs> Hick steterat. Well, I had heard a lot of stories from old ISers about what it was going to be like. And I, so I had some expectations set up. I knew that it was going to be a lot of work. I knew, also knew that it was going to be a lot of fun. And that Lucentio that comes a wooing, Priami, is my man Tranio. Regia, bearing my port, sells our cities that we might beguile. The old pantaloon. <laughs> I was struck immediately by the amount of commitment people were willing to put into it. Um, it's not. I was worried at some points that it might be, or before the class started, I was worried that it might be the sort of production that people were just going to be doing it because it was a class, and they were just going to be doing it for their grade and for credit, and that there wasn't going to be a whole lot of um, personal interest and involvement, and that's turned out to be not the case at all. It's, I think it's been really fun. I think people are really, um, are really committed to making it a good show, which is what I think it should be about. You know, I get to mess around and do funny stuff and wear glasses and pretend to be different people and you know the the it's it's just a totally different experience to be putting on a play and to have that acknowledged as something that's worthwhile and something that we can be given credit for I wouldn't trade it for anything that's why I'm in integrated studies is because I want a chance to do these different things that I might not have a chance to do again um, while I'm here in college Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I would definitely recommend this class. Definitely. I would. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I would definitely recommend this class. I would definitely recommend this class. I would absolutely recommend this class to any potential students wanting to come into IS. I would definitely recommend this class. I would say you would be a fool not to take it. <laughs> a great class. I would. Yeah. Definitely. My name is Amanda Klein, my major is biochemistry, and I play a player, a servant, and Vincentio. This is my Vincentio costume. Oh, my son! My son! Come now, villain! Where's my son, Vincentio? Call forth the officer! Carry this bad name to the jail! Oh, Father Baptista! Leave me for his coming! To people who 
are thinking of taking this class and the IS program as well, um, I would say, well, definitely for the IS program, definitely, definitely do it. I am so glad I'm in the IS program. The classes are great. I've loved this class, definitely, and I'll go more into the class in a minute. But um, I think the main aspect of the program that I like the best is that is the dorms, that you're with other people who, you know, put an emphasis on schoolwork and um, and I think you get more of a again a community feeling with IS because you're all part of the same program and you do have to take some of the same classes so you get to see these people over and over again and this class is a really good one to take um, it's one of the advantages of being in IS that you get the chance to do this because you really don't get the chance in any other play anywhere to do everything in the play which is a really good experience um, it's hard work, but, uh, but it's a really good experience and you grow from it. And it's a lot of fun too. It's... Hey, where'd everybody go? Hello? Hello? Enjoy your birthday, that's all. It's not often you have birthday. No, it's your Turn back to the left and say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. That's the ending I work with.
<laughs> we'll go black and run the credits and then suddenly just, hi mom. <laughs> cool.